this attic turned out to be awesome, and we don't want to leave it, which sounds funny, but we love it here. And unfortunately, the hostel's totally booked, so now we have to move on to another hostel, which everything in town is fully booked, except for this place we're going to, which has a ton of vacancy, which is a little scary. <laughs> you never know what you got till it's gone. On the Romanian road again. Travel responsibly. Travel with as. <laughs> Mine. Okay, huh. That's what love's all about, right? Just chasing, playing the chase. Oh, jeez. Mad and Sam. Oh! <laughs> Who's ready to take party? Here we are. Rolling Stone Hostel. I feel like I'm going into like Count Olaf's house. <laughs> yeah, under, uh, under Nazi. Hello. All right. Let's keep this in mind. Um, not noise after <laughs> after 11 p.m. Just checked into the Rolling Stone Hostel, and it's surprisingly nice. Um, a little bit too homey. I think they've got really old furniture and old blankets and stuff. So that part, I'm not a big fan of, but. Location-wise, this is like a one minute walk. We've got a nice little city square here, but it's not central. Now we are heading to Count Chocula's castle, also known as Brands. They have a pigeon bath here. Like they're pretty much inviting pigeons into the city. What are they doing? I don't think this would go through in Vancouver. The security guard is filling it back up. It's like, oh, <laughs> time to rotate the pigeon water. Clearly where more of the locals live, like there's not as many tourists here. I haven't really seen any tourists. But right here is a beautiful Romanian church. I've been very impressed with the architecture here in Romania. I don't know what I expected, but this is kind of surpassing what I had in mind. It's a Pokemon. It's a Pokemon, not a dog. <laughs> All aboard. I just had like a sudden realization that it's just so crazy that here I am with like two of my best friends traveling Romania. We had talked about Romania for how many years now? Long time. Long time. Long time. We, about Romania. we had like we joked about it's we'd like going to Romania. Like it was like a, it was literally an ongoing joke. And here we are. It actually came to fruition. We're in the transit system, chilling with a bunch of Romanians. Oh, that's what life's about, you know. You gotta actually take those opportunities. Don't just talk about it. Make it a reality. Don't tweet about it. Be about it. That's all it is. Oh, yeah, you know what it that's is. That's good. Get lost. Yeah, exactly. It's about getting lost. Get lost. Hashtag get lost. Hashtag get lost. An act of kindness by a nice Romanian bus driver. We were like gonna stay on the bus and go way down the line, but luckily he stopped, knocked on the window to like inform us that our stop was here, and he's pointed us in the right direction. Hey boys, where are we? I have no Lost. idea. I have no clue. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. This is this. Okay, we've been talking about like World War II and like Hitler and all this really interesting stuff for the past hour. Supposedly in the First World War, um, the Russian army, it was three soldiers for every one gun. So pretty much people would go out, someone dies, pick up the next gun and go for it. That's how it was. It was apparently just so ill-prepared, so underfunded. Yeah. That's so crazy. Alright guys, we have arrived right there is Brand's castle. Why this castle is so famous is because it looks really cool. And secondly, because Count Chocula, or also known as Dracula, also known as Vladimir the Impaler, apparently this was one of his summer homes. So I'll give you more information on that. But if you don't know, there's actually a story behind Dracula. Dracula is actually a prolific murderer, torturer. He like impaled people. That's why it was called Vlad the Impaler. And um, the story of Dracula was, was based on this character. Yeah. yeah. Stein actually has a book. <laughs> Bram Stoker. Yeah. I'm reading Dracula, you should read it. It's awesome. Wait, you're with it's spooky. I'm gonna be totally honest. We have been told multiple times that if you go to Dracula's castle, you will not have any fun, you'll be miserable. And this is why. This is the lineup just to get in, so like I can't see where the castle is. I'm sure the lineup goes way down there. But we were told like it's back to back people inside the castle. You can't really see anything, it's such a huge lineup. It wouldn't be a castle unless you got the shirt. Here we were thinking Dracula died. Count Choculitis. 
Oh wow, <laughs> Dracula's castle is under construction. Renovation. <laughs> Very. <laughs> Into the secret chamber. Spooky. Be very careful. Ooh, I'm going to suck your blood. Ah, yes, Dracula's entrance device. <laughs> Count Chocolatus. Why did you write that down, Jim? Is it because you know I love Count Chocula? Love Count Chocula? Love Count Chocula? Hit me. Shit. Right in the sternum this time, T baby. Shit. You already know. You already know. You already know. <laughs> it's done, you found It's Dracula. <laughs> we found him. Uh, yep, he's in there. It is Dracula's courtyard. <laughs> Since my head to the sky, my feet on the ground, my fingers to the judge. If the money don't move, then I won't push, won't push. No, I won't push, no. No. Money is the motivation, facing the avenue, back touching. Da, 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 da. Seek and you will find. All stairways lead to the gift shop. Oh yes, Vlad the wine, Vlad the gun. You know, each to their own, make the best of it. It's pretty basic, it's just like white walls. It has nothing to do with Dracula. There's basically nothing tying Dracula to this place officially, but it looks like it could be Dracula's. And I guess the movie might be loosely based off of this place, but literally, Dracula, Vlad the Impaler, it's unlikely that he's been here before. Damn. Happen that thing and murk off, swerve off. You know me, they call me Birdman Jr. Anybody This is a very common thing in Romania. People just park all over the sidewalks, like pedestrians are secondary. So we'll take the road. It's all good. When in Romania, do as the Romanians do. Get lost. We're lost. We have no idea where we got dropped off. We don't know where like, we are. We're all just like oblivious. Like we just like we're talking and chatting and not paying attention to our surroundings. And now we don't remember how to get back to where the buses drop off. So we're in a taxi, we're heading back to Brasov, and it's gonna be a pretty similar price by taking the taxi, yeah. so it's all good. Where are we? We don't know. We're lost. We're lost. Again. Our cab driver is not from the area, so he dropped us off the side of the road because he has no idea where we are. But I think we're kind of close. We're really close. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's not for London. Yeah. <laughs> feel a map too. Oh, yeah, I feel this. It's luxury. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're going real fast. That was so funny. We're like, <laughs> get in this cab. The guy's flooring it. Like, we were going 85 <laughs> kilometers an hour in like single lane traffic with like cars parked on the sidewalks, like people going through crosswalks. We're hitting speed bumps. With <laughs> <laughs> but we made it. Thank you very nice. much. That's my kind of driver, man. Yeah, he's. That's the point. Ride, ride or die. If you ain't first, you're last. It's actually, shooting the fifth. Yeah. <laughs> Matt, what are we doing right now? Uh, we're lost. We're lost. <laughs> we are about to hike up. I don't know if we're gonna make it in time. Like, it's pretty late. We've only got about an hour worth of sunlight, and it's slightly raining. The Brashov sign. We're hiking up to that. This here is Brasov. Look how beautiful it is. You can see the classical infrastructure. So beautiful. Oh, we're lost. Where are we? Some uh, mountain in Transylvania. I have no idea. This actually looks like that movie with uh, Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio when he's in the Insanity War. Shadow. What's it called? Shutter Island. Shutter Island. It's straight up abandoned. Oh, that is so scary. Oh, that's creepy. Oh. 
Alright, so the reason we hiked up here is to fly the drone, also just like hang out, but it's getting really dark really fast and there's two paths, this one and that one. I don't know which one to take. What do you think, Stein? came all the way up to the top to fly the drone. That didn't work out. A storm came out of nowhere. Like it just, well actually didn't come out of nowhere. We saw a big storm clouds, but <laughs> it pounded. And like we had nowhere to hide. I couldn't put my camera away. So we had to like run back down the hill. I've got like my waterproof shield on top of the bag, but I didn't have my camera disassembled. It was such a mess. There was a little covering over there. So I managed to put my camera in the bag. This is like such a cool experience. I just wish I had the extra few minutes to have flown my drone. That viewpoint, just an unbelievable vista of Transylvania. We will be back here tomorrow morning. You guys, we have like 20 minutes until Dracula comes out. The sun's setting. It's like a current coming down the mountain with us. <laughs> Holy crap. Let's not get lost right now, boys. I don't want to get eaten by Dracula. Holy, the thunder, dude. Okay, we are, it's actually dangerous to be in a forest yeah. on a mountain. See, we're going the wrong way. We're going the wrong way. Thanks, Matt. <laughs> Boys, down here. <laughs> I like went for a ride there. Totally slipped down. I don't know, it's probably too dark for the GoPro, but this is insane. We gotta get down. Half an hour left of the hike, I think. So, and I think we have about five minutes of sunlight. Oh my god! Oh shit! Oh! Holy crap! We gotta get down, dude! We gotta get down! I can't stop! <laughs> so I just wiped out so hard. So did I. That was the closest I've ever been to lightning. Thank God, we can see civilization. Metal fences, not good to me. Oh my gosh. Stein literally, you dove, yeah, I saw that, like face first. This has been one of the craziest things in my entire life. Like that one lightning bolt, I kid you not, it struck, it was so bright, like I couldn't see for a second. It was, everything was white, and then within half, maybe even a quarter second, boom! Like, look at the streets, full on, like, yeah. And my thing, because we're hearing lightning all around us, and all of a sudden there's a massive flash. I couldn't see anything. Everything was black. Everything was whited out in my eyes. And within half to a quarter second, poof, the biggest thunder strike explosion I've ever heard. It was madness. I look back, Stein literally hit the deck. He was face first sliding down the hill. I, I dove down. Stein dove. I, was so scared. I thought we were struck behind you. I thought we were gonna be struck. And then, oh my gosh, this has been an ordeal. One for the books though, right? Yeah. Romania mania! Get ready to rumble! 2016! And now there's a cemetery, like Vlad's definitely coming. It's like so creepy. It's so eerie here right now. I want to suck your blood! And you can see, there's the sign we were looking for. There's uh, the Brasov sign. It's all lit up. Oh, we're gonna get wrecked. Boys are back in town. <laughs> uh, We're getting some dinner. We just cleaned up, dried off, and it feels so good. The rain has temporarily stopped. My heart is still like racing pretty quick. Like, I just feel, you, do, you guys feel like, really good and accomplished right now? Yeah. Like, I feel like after I went bungee jumping, like, just like, 
It's such a nice come down from being so like adrenaline high. <sighs> I was just telling the guys that experience we had up on the mountain overlooking Transylvania, definitely not a traditional one, not how we envisioned it. Things went so off plan and some would even probably say things went wrong. But the experience we just had is one that I will remember for the rest of my life. It's literally one for the books. Such an amazing experience. Today has been a really good day. I'm gonna go get some food. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Matt thought he got a stew. He said he got that. But that looks really good. Potatoes and this is stew. This looks good. Alright guys, it is the end of the vlog. I am going to bed just about now. Have a good night. Let's get lost again. Conclusion. In Conclusion. No, okay. okay. Normally I say tomorrow. And then you cover the camera. Tomorrow. Thanks. Fun of the day.